Well, good to see this young fighter make the walk here tonight. His takedowns are really some of the best in the game. So explosive, great technique behind them. Certainly you see shades of his collegiate wrestling career. His opponent's got to watch out for those, but even an opponent with good takedown defense will succumb to this guy's shots. No telegraph behind him. When this guy wants to take you down, more often than not, he succeeds. This guy has tremendous ground technique, and his ability to pass guard and get to a dominant position is elite. to stand on a napkin in the center of the octagon and stand and trade with this young man, you're playing with fire. Frightening knockout power. Go look at the highlight reel. As good a reel as anybody in the sport, you can be sure he'll be looking to find a home for those heavy hands early and often. You do not want to get in a slugfest with this young contender, I can assure you of that. This guy has inhuman cardio. The pace in which he keeps is absolutely breathtaking. And now, heavyweight fight. Well, how about the age discrepancy here? More than 15 years apart, and they both possess a similar height and reach. To get us started with the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet, eight inches tall, weighing in at 188 pounds. Fighting out of Kanagawa, Japan, Grandmaster. And now, this is fighting out of the red corner. This man is a grappler, making his professional debut here tonight. Five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 196 pounds. Fighting out of Osaka, Japan, Big Danny. And when the action begins, over three in charge, Herb Dean. Herb Dean, third man in the octagon for this Ready one. Ready. And we are underway. Good punch. The guard connects with the punch there, Joe. Well, the right hand has been there at times, not that time. Strong takedown defense there, Joe. Single leg attempt, no good. Try some serious power. In He's fainting with that kick. Look at that, right to the temple. Well, he misses with the left punch there. Sal defensively blocks the shot. Also, he gets clipped once again here, Joe, and he gets oh! stunned. He is rocked. Huge uppercut misses. How about that shin? Nice takedown. Under three minutes now to go, and what is He's got a guillotine. Looks like a tight guillotine here. It looks fairly close. And he gets out. That was a close guillotine. He's got a half guard here. Well, just because you're on your back doesn't mean you can't throw offense. Staying busy here. You like to see that joke. Well done, Sweet, and winds up Remaining in guard. Remaining active here in his pursuit of the submission. Another attempt here. It looks like he's got the Oma Plata locked up nice and tight. It was a beautiful job setting up that submission, and once he got it, the fight was over. Yeah, that is high-level stuff out of him there, Joe, to finish the submission. It's one thing to get the dominant position. It's another thing to close the show, and he certainly did that here tonight. That's a big one. And here it is again, absolutely perfect. And one more time, 
Nice technique here on this submission. So there he is, your winner by submission. That is a finish they will likely be talking about for some time. Big win, major statement made to the rest of this division. Bruce Buffer has Ladies your official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, decision. referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 57 seconds of the very first round. For the winner by submission, so there he is, your winner by way of submission. And candidly, Joe, I'm not sure this night could have gone any better. He did have some doubters coming in. He said, I got to mute those naysayers.